Hello and welcome everyone, it's Martin here with Crypto Gains. Despite news that Tesla is now going to accept Bitcoin as payment and some short-term bullish sentiment yesterday, most of the crypto markets have experienced major declines over the last 24 hours. And now, based on a number of technical indicators, including the completion of a double top pattern, there are many calls for Bitcoin reaching to as low as 46,000. This article discusses this double top that was formed and then it, it was confirmed. So based on projections, the downside can take us all the way down to 46,000. And then a more sophisticated technical analysis here demonstrates that we had an ascending head and shoulder, head and shoulders pattern. And after this ascending neckline was broken, once again, the downside can easily take us to well below 50,000. So let's take a look at how this spans on the technical chart and how you can actually trade that. Well, actually what we have in the MACD indicator is a bullish crossover. And now I believe there is a bit of a recovery going on. 52,000 formed itself as a bit of a support area. So over 52,600, I'm seeing opportunities to initiate long positions with target of 53,700, which is the nearest resistance area. But then if that level is cleared, we can be ascending higher up to 55,600 and there could be an intermediary stop around the 54,600 mark. Conversely, if we break below 52,000, we could be declining further away, all the way down to 51,000 and 49,800. Let's move to Ethereum, which of course, as I have said many times in my previous videos, tends to be very highly correlated with Bitcoin. So it experienced some major declines as well. And what we have here on the one hour chart is that 1,600 is the de facto pivot point. So over 1,600 to me, the upside is going to prevail is indicated by this bullish cross in the bank indicator, although it's below zero, it still gives us some confidence that the rally higher up may be initiated with the first target at 1,650 and then at 1,700. Conversely, if we break below the 1,580 level, more declines all the way down to 1,550 are possible. But I think 1,550, at least for the moment, is the bottom for Ethereum and we're likely to see some more bulls coming into this correction and taking prices higher up. Another interesting development comes from Cardano, which is one of the better performing cryptocurrencies despite its recent drop. So let's take a look and see how we can actually trade Cardano. So to me, 1.1 is the critical pivotal point. And over that level, there would be an opportunity to initiate long positions with target at 1.2, which is the nearest resistance level. One can argue that 1.5 is going to be closer benchmark to aim for. Of course, you can take profit at 1.5, but I believe over a longer term frame, we could easily reach 1.2 once again, and fairly conservative stop loss at 1.04. 1.04 for a stop loss and 1.2 for take profit is going to give, of course, more favorable risk to reward ratio. Alternatively, you can put your stop more conservatively at 1.08 and your take profit at 1.15. Finally, an idea in Monero versus Tether. To me, Monero is another cryptocurrency which uh, bottomed around 217.5. So to me, over 217.5, there is an opportunity to initiate long positions. We targeted 224 and stop loss at 215, once again, giving a very favorable risk reward ratio of approximately oh, 3 to 1 or thereabouts. So these are the ideas for today. As always, keep learning with the video education section and the Crypto Games Market Insights subsection. Remember to join the Crypto Signals Made Easy channel for lots of insightful articles, trading ideas, and trading signals. Thanks for joining me today. Trade wisely, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.